Hello and welcome to today's class. In today's lesson, I'm going to be explaining how to upload a, a video to YouTube and add English language captions and then subtitles in another language. So let me uh, click through my slide here. All right. So again, an overview of this lesson. This is primarily a lesson for students in my Spanish translation classes, but hopefully it's helpful to others. Um, so for those students, this is what we're going to talk about. I'm going to show you how to find a public domain video, how to edit and trim that clip if necessary to 30 to 60 seconds. Um, remember, your clip needs to have plenty of dialogue and or narration. There has to be text for you to translate. I'm going to show you how to upload that clip to your YouTube channel create and sync English captions. So the first step is to make captions in English, then to download that caption file in SRT format, translate that, save it as a Spanish file, upload that Spanish file to YouTube, and then edit and sync those Spanish subtitles so that they fit your clip. Sounds like a lot, it's really not that complicated. Let's get to it. All right, so the first thing you need to do is find and download a clip, and the clip needs to be copyright free or in the public domain. So that pretty much translates to black and white. So here's a website that I um, that I recommend. I think it's called the Perlinger or Perlinger Archives. You can see the um, the link there on your screen, and I will send this to you in a Word document as well. So all of the video clips here are public domain. They have no copyright claims. You can search this website. In my case, for the example in this video. Since we're going through the, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, I searched for flu, and these were the results. So that you can see the search bar there. This screen will come up when you click on a video. If you scroll down, you will see the download options. Um, and I would click on show all, because the file that you want to download, the best file for YouTube is an MP4 file. Most videos are converted to MP4 on YouTube, so it's best just to start with that format. So you would click on the link to that video in MP format. Now the video might be might be long, so it will try to play if you um, I believe it's right or left. I'm never sure on my clicks, but if you um, save that video while it's playing, you can save it to your desktop, give it a name, or just accept the name that is that is given as default. Again, make sure it's MP4 video hit save. Once you've saved the video to your desktop or downloaded the video, and keep in mind this may take several minutes because some of the videos are anywhere between 50 and 100 megabytes or more. They might be 15 minute clip or 20 minute clip. What you need to do is edit or trim the video to length. So again, you want to make sure you get those 30 to 60 seconds with plenty of dialogue or plenty of narration. So you're going to um, open your video with some type of video editing software. Every format, whether it's Mac, PC, whatever, has something installed as a default that will allow you to edit video. The newest version of Windows 10 has a program called Movies in TV. So I'm going to open the clip with the program called Movies in TV. You might have Windows Movie Maker or some other software that will allow you to trim you can see that i've circled the trim tool right find where the tools are how to edit the video select trim and then you'll be able to move those sliders from one side to the other you want to make sure that you viewed the video in advance so you know exactly and write down the time so for example i knew that on this video i wanted the 60 seconds between three minutes and 20 seconds and four minutes and 20 seconds so i move the sliders to trim that and then i'm going to go ahead and save as or download not download but save the trimmed version the trim portion and so i just hit underscore trim on the file name again making sure that it's still an mp4 file long story short you need to open your clip trim it down to 30 or 60 seconds with plenty of audio and then save that as the trimmed version so you should now have two versions of your clip one is the full version one's the trimmed version okay so the next step is to go to your YouTube page. So you log on to Google. Odds are, if you're using Google Chrome, you're already logged in. But if not, this is how you do it, right? You hit sign in, you log on using your Google account. If you don't have a Google account, I find that very hard to believe. But if you don't, create one, okay? You will need a Google account. Your Google login um, credentials are the same as your YouTube login credentials. So once you're logged into Google, you can navigate to youtube.com, right? And the next step is to upload the trimmed version of your video clip. So you'll see in the upper right-hand corner, there's sort of this camera icon. And if you click on that, you'll be prompted to go ahead and select a file or drag and drop a file to this area of the screen. Make sure that you select your trimmed 
version, the trimmed version of your clip. Of your clip. Um, so that's what I'm showing on this slide. I'm selecting the, my video is called another cup of coffee, another cup of underscore trim. That's the 30 second or 60 second version of my video. So you're gonna upload this clip. As it's uploading, a screen will pop up and the first screen is details. Here, you wanna make sure and give your clip a title that makes sense. So mine's about an insurance um, agent who's trying to sell life insurance. I'm just gonna call it insurance guy at the pharmacy or insurance guy at the coffee shop. As you scroll down, there's a couple other things on this detail screen that you need to fill in. One is you have to check that no, it's not made for kids because YouTube has some pretty stringent restrictions and guidelines for uh, content for children. So no, it's not made for kids. And then be sure to select more options because under more options, you'll be able to make sure that the video language is set to English. This is important for a couple of reasons. First, because that's the, that's the language that you want your first set of captions to be in. Secondly, if you just upload the video and wait long enough, come back after an hour or two, YouTube in most cases, not all the time, but in most cases, will automatically create captions in this language, English. All right, the next screen as we're still uploading, the next screen as you're uploading is video elements. You can skip this screen, just hit next. And then finally, the third screen as you're still uploading, is the visibility. You want to select, you can select public, but you probably want to select unlisted. That way only people that you email the link to will be able to see your final subtitled product. So select unlisted, hit save. And then as soon as you hit save, right, and your video is uploaded, you should be automatically redirected to um, your what's called your creator studio or your video manager. Um, if not, you can use this URL on the screen, youtube.com slash myspace videos, and it will take you to the screen, okay? You probably only have one video here, okay? Um, once you're on this screen, you want to, on the left-hand menu, and I just wanna say, it's important to do this on a laptop or a desktop computer. Do not try to do this on your cell phone, okay? Um, you wanna select from the left-hand menu, subtitles. Once you select subtitles, you want to click on your video. So you're saying subtitles, your video, and you'll go to this screen. It'll show your video. Under language, it should say English, video language, because you designated that during the upload. Um, on the far right portion of the screen here, okay, um, you'll see the words add in all caps, okay? Now, again, if you just wanna wait on the screen, leave it here, come back and refresh in about an hour or two, most likely, or even less, sometimes 15, 15 minutes, most likely YouTube will have auto-captioned your video in English. But assuming we don't do that, you're gonna click on add, and you're gonna see three options, upload a file, transcribe, and create. You wanna click on the middle one, trans transcribe and auto-sync. Once you do that, a window like this will appear, and it will allow you to transcribe the dialogue and or narration of your video clip. Um, if you wanna do this outside of YouTube, you can just play the video and create a text file and then cut and paste it into this, into this window. Once you, and you don't need to put in a lot of like um, separation or line breaks or anything like that. The more work, but you can. So the more work you do to clean up the text in this stage, the easier the next few stages will be. So once you've transcribed all of the audio, all of the dialogue and or narration in this clip, you're gonna hit set, you're gonna click set timings down here, set timings. What happens now is you'll be directed to this screen and basically what's happening is YouTube's supercomputers, right, are matching up that transcript that you typed in that didn't have any timestamps. They're using voice recognition software on the back end and they're matching up those segments of text that you transcribed with the appropriate time, right, timestamps on your video. So if you were to click right now, return to YouTube studios, you would see over on the far right, uh, this text, it would tell you that it's generating timings. Be patient, refresh after 10 or 15 minutes. If you're impatient like me and you click on it, you're gonna get this screen. It's gonna tell you again, <laughs> subti subtitle timings are being set, check back soon. Go back to your YouTube studio. I've circled how to get back there. Okay. Finally, when these are done, um, when it's done auto syncing your transcription to the timeline of your video clip, it will appear like this. It'll say draft by creator. You're the creator. Isn't that powerful? 
Don't you feel omnipotent? Okay. Um, if you click on that, then you'll be able to edit the, the um, titles. The titles will be more or less matched up, but you want to edit. Look on the right hand side of the screen. You want to edit. You want to make sure that you have proper capitalization, proper punctuation. You may need to break up some of the lines. So just go in and hit return. So once you've edited the text, added punctuation, capitalization, fixed anything, and this is especially important if you allow YouTube to auto caption because using its speech recognition, it commits, it commits a lot of, makes a lot of mistakes. So you really would need to go in and clean this up. Once you've done that, you wanna go down to the bottom right portion and it's very intuitive how to do this, but you want to space those clips on the timeline perfectly. This is very important. You want to make sure that you have that lead time and lag time. So right when someone's starting to open their mouth is when the dialogue starts. Right after they close it, you go on to the next title. So again, you want to make sure that you're spacing. The YouTube does a pretty good job of syncing it up, but not perfect. So you need to go in and make it perfect. Okay. So you want to match those titles using the just the drag bars, right? You can extend it. You can slide it over. You can make it shorter, right? So you can do this, right? And uh, make sure that those titles are synced up properly, okay? You also wanna make sure that you're observing the other sort of guidelines of subtitles. You don't want more than two lines of subtitles on the screen at once. You need to use um, ellipses, dot, dot, dot. If the subtitle continues over a cut, you need to use italics and things like that. Um, if the voice is coming from off camera, and those things that we talked about in a previous video. So once you've synced up those captions, you can hit save changes. That will save all the changes to your English captions and you'll be brought to this screen right here, okay? Now, if you click on that bar that says English, you will be, you'll be taken back here. And one of the actions that you can do is you can download this caption file. And that's what you need to do. You need to download the English caption file, select .srt format. That's a plain text um, format that subtitlers use because it has the timestamps. You're gonna download that to your desktop. Again, don't use your phone, be on a desktop or laptop. You're gonna download it to that to your computer, open it up and it will look like this, you'll see the transcription that you've synced up, and then you'll also see the timestamps, and each title has a number, okay? Before you do anything, you want to, in within that plain text editor, such as Notepad or any other plain text editor, you want to go up to the menu and you want to save that file with a different name. Those are your English captions. You want to save it as, for example, Spanish.srt or Portuguese or Chinese or whatever language you have to, you happen to be creating the titles for. So Spanish.srt, save that to your desktop, somewhere you'll be able to find it, and then start translating Spanish.srt. So go into the lines, replace them with the appropriate Spanish text. This is the heart and soul of your project. This is where you're actually doing the translation. Do not touch, and I've circled here, don't change the timestamps because you want the titles to appear in the exact same place. So once you've finished translating, and that should be where you spend the bulk of your time. I know this sounds complicated, but really the translation itself is what I want you to focus on. Once you've done that, go back to your video manager on YouTube. You can use this um, URL to get there. Click on videos, select your, click videos and then click subtitles, okay? Then click your video. It's, again, it's probably the only video you have. And right below where it says English video language, you'll see a button that says add language. You wanna click on that button, select Spanish. Don't select Latin American or Mexican Spanish or Spanish from Spain or from the US, just Spanish. And click add, as you can see on the screen here. And then instead of transcribe, this time you're gonna click upload a file. And of course, you're gonna select the file that you just translated from English to Spanish. You're gonna go ahead and upload that. As soon as you hit upload, you'll be taken to the editing screen. And so this should be familiar. You just wanna make sure that you have your capitalization, your punctuation that you have, and then you're gonna go ahead and sync up those titles. They shouldn't need it. They shouldn't need, if you did, if you did the synchronization properly for the English titles, your Spanish title synchronization should be perfect. Go ahead and hit save changes. And then you'll see success. 
Under the titles, you'll see English and Spanish. At this point, you can go back to your YouTube studio, upper right hand, that button should be there. And to access that video so that you can get the link and play it, just click on the video button on the left hand side, select your video, and then you can see these two circles on the screen. One of them would be a link to your video within YouTube that you would want to send me, the instructor, if you want me to review it. Uh, and the other one is um, just allows you to copy that link from this page. So that's pretty much all you need to do to create English captions and Spanish language subtitles. So I'll be sending you these instructions in Word format, in text format as well, but hopefully this video has been helpful and you now will be able to find a video clip, upload it, create English captions, download them, save as Spanish, translate and upload those and you're good to go. Hope this has been informative and useful and I'll see you in class soon. Thanks for watching.